we uh, are sitting at 30 subscribers, or I'm sitting at 30 subscribers right now. That means a lot to me, so thank you. Nature lovers, I am Nature Guy X46. This is my channel, Nature Guy X46 Presents. And today we are going to be discussing some adaptations. Adaptations are things that allow an animal to survive. They may be physical, they may be psycho or physiological, they may be behavioral. Um, I'm not going to get into what all that all of those are. We are just going to be talking about the different um, adaptations that these animals have. So this is a Gila monster, and Gila monsters are able to store fat. And they're not alone in this ability. There are other animals that do the same thing. Uh, but they will actually store fat in their tail. And they are going to use that stored fat to get them through hibernation. And so if you ever are out in the wild and you see a Gila monster with a fat tail... Now you know what is going on. By the way, that's not a real Gila monster, but you get the idea. Octopuses, they have some really cool adaptations. One of those is they can actually change their coloration and the texture of, those, of their skin in order to provide camouflage or they can change their color to communicate moods. The suckers that they have on their arms or their tentacles can be used to not only grasp items, but they also play a role in touch and taste. That's right. So when an octopus grabs you, they can literally also taste you at the same time. Their brain is highly developed. Octopuses are intelligent. They can figure out how to open up jars to get the crabs. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool little animal. Uh-oh. One of my animals is missing. Okay, well, we'll move on. The bamboo shark is an interesting animal. It has these two little barbels that hang down from the mouth. Um, and these are going to help them from keeping sand out of their mouth while they're feeding. And they're also going to use these to find food that may be hidden inside the sand. Penguins, like this little guy here, um, they actually have solid bones. And these are going to help the birds deal with buoyancy because normally bird bones are hollow. But if you're an animal that depends on diving into the water to find food, you need to be able to dive. Emperor penguins can actually tolerate low levels of oxygen in their blood. That's because they actually do dives that are somewhat deep. Also, penguin feathers are waterproof thanks to a gland located at the base of their tail. Dragonflies, like this guy, can't fly on cooler days, so they will actually beat their wings to warm up. And they operate like solar panels. Pretty cool. Cave crayfish have lost their body pigmentation. Basically, so that uh, those resources can be put to use elsewhere. 
So instead of having to manufacture that pigment, the body can go to work producing other stuff for the animal to live. Stonefish. Uh, these guys have venom and 13 spines on their fit, um, fin, on their pectoral fin, and these allow them, oh no, no, I lied, not the pectoral fins, but on this fin, and those, they're used to protect themselves. The pectoral fins actually work like little hands, and they can use these to bury themselves um, into sand. The yellow-bellied sea snake, which is what I think this is supposed to be, actually has um, the ability to exchange gas via their skin. Komodo dragons have a forked tongue that they use just like a snake would. So they bring out their they flick their tongue out, pick up particles in the air. And then they, those particles get transferred to the Jacobson organ, and they can figure out what a smell is based on that. Giraffes. Now, they have this long neck that allows them to feed on food that might be out of reach for other herbivores. They also have a dark tongue that this coloration actually protects them from being the tongue from being burned and it's also prehensile which helps them get past the thorns found on acacia trees the pangolin one of my favorite animals these scales actually turn the tail into a weapon now, these scales are made out of the same thing that your fingernails and your hair are made out of, which is keratin. When they curl up into a ball, these scales then become armor. They also protect the animal from water loss. Basking sharks have big mouths and they scoop up, they take in water and food at the same time, and then they push the water out through their the mechanism inside their gills called gill rakers. And those gill rakers remove the food, they close their mouth, and they swallow. And that those are some crazy adaptations. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you.